They say horror is one step from parody. Even straight, serious horror can be unintentionally hilarious. This is blatantly funny, silly and naughty B-movie horror made by some of the best in British comedy. Bloodbath at the House of Death. Headstone Manor is a haven for evil. In 1975, a group of satanic monks murdered its occupants. A few years have passed and the aptly named House of the Dead has welcomed a team of scientists who are investigating whether the house is haunted or a haven for bloodthirsty loons. Sinister forces are moving. Are the scientists ready for the unknown? What the fuck do you think? What is it? Don't you see? <gasps> oh my god! It's hideous. Yes. They seem to be depicting all the murders that took place here many years ago. But what does it mean? It means someone is trying to scare us. Someone or some thing doesn't want us in this house. It's a low-budget cult movie that deliberately takes the piss out of the American slasher movies. There are some shameful nods to other horror movies. There's quite an assemblage here, but you have to be a certain age to recognise them all. Heading up the team is Kenny Everett, Britain's first superstar DJ turned comedy icon. With Pamela Stevenson, who had recently finished the legendary sketch show Not the Nine O'Clock News and the god awful Superman 3. Kenny's friend and TV collaborator, Cleo Rocos. Writer and satirist John Fortune, the gay couple Gareth Hunt, who appeared in Upstairs Downstairs and The New Avengers, with Don Warrington from Rising Damp. They are treated with a degree of respect. The writing doesn't have them playing to the typical stereotype for the age, but as a couple like any other. Facing them is the horror icon Vincent Price as hammy as ever, playing the quite sweary, sinister man. And we are your... Oh, shit, my hands! Oh, oh shit, my hands! Stupid bloody candles! The script is by comedy legend Barry Cryer and director Ray Cameron, father of comedy star Michael McIntyre. It didn't have a big cinema release. It was panned by the critics, but I do remember it was a popular video rental. There's an article in The Guardian from August 2008 where they talked to the producer Lawrence Myers how the movie was saved from being lost to time and his meeting with the former chief censor James Furman. Furman thought that the movie was fine and funny enough but thought we were showing him the reels in the wrong order. We weren't. The film just doesn't make sense. I had a shifty at the reviews on IMDb. Some saying it's a good belly laugh, but some said it's the worst crap. One one star review said, Ken Russell's Lair of the White Worm is probably a good version of this derivative genre film. After this, Kenny and Cleo continued making his TV show until 1988, when he returned to radio. After the death of his friend Freddie Mercury from AIDS, Kenny knew his time was coming. He kept his own diagnosis quiet until 1993. There have been documentaries and print about their long relationship, which led to them both contracting HIV. April 4th, 1995. 
Kenny passed away, leaving one of the greatest legacies in entertainment. For Cleo, after Kenny passed, her wiki bio says that she appeared in many travel programs. I do remember seeing her on Wish You Were Here, which was a big travel show here that dates back to the 1970s. In 2007, she entered the Celebrity Big Brother house with some high-profile names. Actor Dirk Benedict, singer Jermaine Jackson, director Ken Russell. Unfortunately, that season was marred by huge controversy. Cleo has had a steady career since. Pamela Stevenson left show business and became a doctor in clinical psychology. She's married to Billy Connolly. Vincent Price continued being awesome, appearing in Disney's Basil, The Great Mouse Detective, and Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands. He died in 1993 from lung cancer. I found Bloodbath on Netflix during lockdown and I was delighted to see it come back. It's recently been given a 4K restoration. It can never be seen as a high for the cast. It's silly and cheap looking. It's shits and giggles. Just take it as that. Mind. I'm terribly sorry.